So we're in Tokyo, Japan, and for the next 100 hours, we're gonna be forced to stay in some of the most unique capsule hotels Japan has to offer. Let's do it. From robots that check you in to capsules that watch your sleep patterns, there's even a sleeping pod that's hidden in a library. Okay, so what is a capsule hotel room? Basically, it's a really tiny hotel room that consists of just a bed and other weird things that you wouldn't find in a normal hotel room. And we're supposed to spend 100 hours in it. Yeah. Dude, what? <laughs> and most of them are a lot cheaper than normal hotel rooms, starting at just nine dollars. Do I have to go with you? Yes, Drew. Why? I don't want to do it. And if you guys survive the full 100 hours in the capsule hotels, I will surprise you with the coolest hotel in Japan. See? Okay. There's a reason to do this. It was hour one, so Pearson and I dragged Drew out of the normal hotel, and it was time for us to check into our first capsule hotel. Oh my. What? Oh my what? god. I'm honestly actually kind of excited. <laughs> Holy crap. This looks like something out of like of spaceship. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> right? Where is everyone? We actually got here before check-in, so no one has checked in yet. Only us. So we're not going to be alone. No, eventually people are going to come in here and fill up all of these pods, and we're going to have some new roommates, Drew. <laughs> you ready to see our pod? Our pod. We don't get our own pods? They were sold out. They only had one. Bro, we have to share? This is great. This wow, is nice. Wow, this is roomy. So this Real is where we're me. spending our first night. It literally smells like dirty socks, Drew. Bro, th those are yours. I have something to tell you. We actually have our own pods. Dang it. <laughs> what? I wanted to cuddle. Oh, gosh. Well, Pearson, you can always stay with no, me if you want. No, that's okay. Huh? Don't give me those eyes. Really? So when we checked in, they gave us a bag full of amenities. So let's see what's inside. Slippers. Slippers. Towels. Ooh. We have some uh, PJs, mm. toothbrush. After exploring more, each capsule comes with a reading light, a USB, a concave shelf for your phone, maybe, and that's basically it. Dude, this is the bathroom. Dude, Holy! This looks like, a, like this is huge. This is absolutely insane. Oh, dude, I'm gonna take a shower. <laughs> You're just gonna oh, take a shower right now. Not. Oh. Oh. I just, I just <laughs> <laughs> dude, <it's> so <laughs> there was somebody in the bathroom. Dude, they have everything. Look, they have like little Japanese candy. No, I wouldn't eat that. That's soap. That's... Yeah, that's soap. <laughs> oh, how's your capsule? It's good. What is this? Oh, that's why this is called the sleep lab. It analyzes your sleep, and it's a thermographic camera, so it basically senses like how loud you snore, you toss and turn at night. Yeah, it's always watching. It could see me. Yeah. So, dude, I sleep naked. <laughs> Wait, what am I gonna do? It's gonna see everything. So before we get some sleep, we met up with the gang and decided to get dinner at a robot cafe, where the robots literally serve you food and entertain you while you eat. Yo, yo, yo! What's going on? <laughs> what? How's the time capsule? It's, it's good so far. It's could be worse. Capsule. Basically, I made reservations at this robot cafe. You get served by robots and they also like entertain you, I guess. So. I think you just did that so that you could leave your capsule. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Pepper. It's nice to meet you. Pepper! Dude, this is not real. This robot is gonna be our waiter at this restaurant. What? Literally, how? <laughs> Brent over here has a peanut allergy. Is that something that is cause for concern? Peanut allergy is a serious concern oh. and should be taken into consideration. You're in safe hands, Brent. This robot talks better than all of us. <laughs> so basically, while we wait for for our food, the waiter can do a bunch of things. You can have her dance, play video games. Have I want to see her dance. dance All right, let's do it. Here we go. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Our food's coming right oh. now. Look. That's not our food. Shut up. Oh my god. We just grab it? Yeah, we just oh. grab it. There we go. Yeah. This is so futuristic. Dude, Bye. It was the leaves. That's insane. <laughs> so, what do you say? We share the capsule? So small. There's no airflow in here. <laughs> I'll stay with you, Brent. Drew, I don't want you to stay with me. Dude, you just said that. No, I said I want Pearson to stay with me. <laughs> so Pearson left Drew and I to sleep for the night, and I slept fairly well, but I don't think Drew could say the same. Drew, I didn't sleep at all. You were watching me the whole time. No. No, I swear. Like, the thing, like, there was, like, a red little blinking light. <laughs> <laughs> we were 20 hours into the challenge, and once we hit a full 100 hours in all capsule hotels, my friends have surprised me with one of the craziest, most insane hotel rooms in Tokyo. But for now, it was time to pack our stuff and head to the next capsule. Along the way, we made a pit stop at a Japanese convenience store, and this store has literally everything. This is like an ice cream cone ready to go. Just to go. They're known for their extremely good food and snacks. So believe it or not, they sell gyozas at the 7-Eleven. Pork fried rice, but there's also shrimp in here too. This is really good actually. Full blown sushi from 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven, so let's hope I don't get I'm a little sick. scared. <laughs> With some soy sauce? Like, this would be far. Japanese candy. These Yo. ones I'm excited for. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. mm, that's insane. These are sandwiches. Dessert sandwiches? I have a strawberry sandwich. You have a peach, mango, mandarin sandwich. 
It's good, but I don't love it. It was time to check into our next capsule. This one is literally disguised as a library. All right, so we just arrived at our next capsule hotel. Why are we at the library? So this isn't the library. This is where we'll be sleeping tonight, but you can also read books here and drink coffee. It's basically like a cafe and a capsule hotel in one. This has to be like the weirdest thing I've ever been to. I know, isn't it really weird? So where are we gonna be sleeping? So the beds are hidden within the bookshelves. Huh? What? You wanna come see? Yeah. All right, let's go. This place was so cool. The beds were literally in the bookshelves, and there was even a disco ball in the corner of the room where Drew and I had a little dance party. All right, so you probably can't see me right now, but I'm currently in the bookshelf. This is our bed for tonight. Dude, I don't get my own room. I forgot to tell you, Drew, uh, we're sharing this room. This only has room for one person. Oh, come on. It's pretty roomy in here. Let me show you inside. All right, so we are inside the bookshelf. This is our room for today. Dude, this looks more like a human-sized coffin. I feel like it's kind of cozy, though. It, it is cozy. Yeah. Let's give you guys a little room tour. Let's do it. Okay, so it comes with a pillow and a sheet. You also get a couple hangers, I guess, to like hang clothes up. You could like, mess with the lighting so you can turn it down or up. With the room, you also get a safe. You have expensive belongings. I guess you'll be good. So now that we fully checked in, I say we go outside and get some fresh air. Dude, yeah, we've been stuck in a box for 30 hours. I think that's the best decision. <laughs> so we decided to explore a little more of the city before going to bed. Basically, at this restaurant, you fish for your food. There's a big, huge pond full of fish, and what you catch is what you eat. Do we have to eat it? Yeah. Do we have to catch it? <laughs> Can I catch a big mess? <laughs> Dude, this one's huge. <laughs> night it was time to get some rest because in the morning we were headed to one of the most technologically advanced capsule pods in Tokyo. Can I turn off the light? Right. Oh my god! <laughs> I my head so hard. Before we checked into the first class of capsule hotels we had a couple hours to spare so we met up with the game. All right so we just got to a cafe but this is no ordinary cafe this is a pig cafe. There's a bunch of little pigs in here and you get to play with them while you eat and drink coffee. Oh no god, way. There's yeah. just a what? bunch of little Andrews running around. Oh, oh. Going, but you guys what smell like that? wine. This has to be like the greatest thing we've ever done. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, Pearson! Oh. Dude, gosh. are they falling asleep on me right now? I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna cry. Oh my god! <laughs> Why are they all on Pearson? I don't know. Wait, this was biting my freaking. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but Pearson ate bacon this morning. No, yeah, she did. No, I didn't. She did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh my god, is that a donut? Oh my yeah, gosh, look. Pearson, this is literally the cutest thing ever. Dude, what? <laughs> How is it gonna have bacon on the menu? True. Bro, like maybe like pick a pig and then like. Oh my god! Drew. I don't know. What? Oh my god! That's a grilled oh. cheese. How does it taste, Lexi? Oh it tastes like, like grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. Oh my god! So this is a rainbow corn dog. Oh. <laughs> What? <laughs> How? Lexi, where'd you get that? I don't even know. Someone just handed it to me. <laughs> What's good? So here we have a 10 yen coin. And, and here we have a 10 yen coin too. It's a waffle with mozzarella cheese in it. Oh. It's amazing. Oh, that's good. It's really good. After another fun day, it was time to check out our capsule hotel for tonight. And this is one of the best. All right, so we're 65 hours in and we're here at our last capsule hotel. Let's get this over with. Apparently, this is supposed to be one of the nicest, most luxurious capsule pods they have in Tokyo and also one of the biggest. They're just like unlimited beer or what? <laughs> this is the best capsule yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Damn. This is my fourth one. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, what? Finally, one that could actually fit two people. Oh, Oh my god. This one's roomy compared to like the other one. Oh my god. Yeah. Bro, literally, look at this. Like, so cool. By far, Drew, this is the best one yet. After the book in bed, I mean, like, we need something like better, and this is it. This is the bathroom? Wait, what? Oh my god. Okay, so basically, each room comes with a nice little mirror so you can uh, check yourself out. Also, each room comes with a mini tablet where you can control a bunch of things in the room. So if you want your bed to go down, you just press this button. What? So it can go all the way down. You can also revert it 
two. Now it's a couch. Check that out. Unlike our other pod, this one comes with a bunch of outlets. Check this out. You have four different outlets and something that's in none of the capsule hotels that we've been in so far. Air conditioning. See, this is necessary. It comes with air conditioning. There's also an alarm system. So when you need to wake up, you can literally have your bed raised so and it, that's it'll, the alarm. It'll like sit you up. It will sit you up. Okay. See, that's it. That's cool. All right. So this is by far one of the coolest things about this capsule. Apparently there's something called a robot butler. So what is it do exactly? Dude, this is crazy. I, I ordered it. I don't know. Hello, my name is Shut up. A robot butler. What? What? what I get for you, Drew? So, wait, Drew, <laughs> it knows my name? <laughs> How? What? Let's do gummy bears uh, and some cheese balls. And some popcorn, why and not? Some popcorn. popcorn. Coming right up. <gasps> Bro, my god. It just walks away. <laughs> See ya. What the Bye. Hell? Literally has the snacks. What? No way. Yeah, wait, what the hell? Bro, and the these are so good. Yo, this is insane. And the freaking popcorn. Bruh, this is the best capsule hotel yet. All right, so it's getting pretty late, but this is a cool feature about this capsule that we just found out about. This shade acts as a projector. This is insane. Wait, that's crazy. Okay. They like took the extra step to make this a freaking projector. Dude, this is insane. All right, so guys, this is our final night in the capsule hotels. We're almost there, but um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Yo, shut up. I'm trying to go to bed. Yo, Drew. Stop. So we finally reached the 100 hour mark, which meant it was all worth it. We were about to be surprised with one of the coolest hotel rooms in Tokyo. How much did this hotel room cost? A lot. Honestly, at this point, I'm just excited for anything. Yeah. Welcome to your lovely new home. Okay. Welcome. What the home? <laughs> There's a carousel in the middle of the hotel room. <laughs> Look at these massive candies on this wall. What the heck? This is in our hotel room? I said, wait till you see the bathtub. Wait, what? What's going on in the bathtub? What? It's chocolate. It's a chocolate bath? Yeah. <laughs> we can shower in chocolate. For the next 100 hours, I'm gonna be traveling the world in first class. I spent over $60,000 to experience the most luxurious flight lounges, airplane suites, and exclusive amenities available in the sky. And make sure you stay until the end because the last suite is the most expensive first class suite to ever exist. So we're starting our journey in Germany and this airline has its own first class terminal. So they have their own security, their own check-in desk, and they even have a car to take you out to the plane when it's time to board. This seat is really big. Each suite comes with a TV, a remote control, seat controls, and even a privacy screen for extra comfort. I literally ate so much, I'm so full. They gave me three appetizers, two main courses. Honestly, this is an amazing first class. So they made my bed and this is a really comfy bed. It's almost like my own little cubby. If all the first classes are gonna have beds like this, this challenge is not gonna be a problem. There's about eight hours left of the flight, so I'm gonna try and get some sleep and I'll see you in the morning. I just slept for like six hours and it was one of the most comfortable sleeps I've ever had on a plane. After landing in Singapore, I had to run to the check-in desk for my next ticket to Mumbai and I was given access to the first class lounge. This lounge has absolutely everything. It's called the private room. This menu has like, that's embarrassing. There's so many things on this menu and you can order whatever and it's all free. I ordered champagne and lobster bisque. Honestly, after that 12 hour flight, it's nice to kind of come here, relax a little bit before the next flight. Cheers to hour 13. Oh, food's here. So I had to eat my food quickly before my next flight, but I was able to make one quick stop on the way to my gate. This Singapore airport literally has everything, including a butterfly garden. There's butterflies everywhere. Check this one out. All right, so right now we're boarding our second flight. We're on hour like 15, I think. And I've actually been on this one before. It's one of the biggest suites in the sky. Check this out. This thing is so big. So the reason why this suite is so big is I actually bought two of them and I made it a double suite, which means you can make a full twin bed when you're ready to go to sleep. So we're about five minutes into the flight and they've already served us food, the appetizer. So now it's time to give you guys a little tour. There's a chair right there, chair right here, two flat screen TVs, one right in front of you. You can raise and lower the window shades right here. This controls the seat. You get an amenity kit, which comes in a leather bag. Facial mist. I don't know if you're supposed to put that much on. So as you know, you can get pretty dehydrated when traveling, especially me. I forget to drink water. So basically I bring my AirUp bottle wherever I go when I travel because with AirUp, it's so easy to drink water. Let me tell you why. Because it's set flavored water, it's zero sugar, zero calories. You can choose different flavor pods to put on your bottle. So I chose lime because who doesn't like lime? To activate your flavor pod, you just pull up and sip. 
Mm. And I'm literally drinking lime flavored water, even though it's just water. I would highly encourage you guys to get one of these, especially if you have a hard time drinking water. It's definitely enjoyable. So if you're looking to stay hydrated for those long haul flights, use my voucher code FIRSTCLASS for 20% off all orders. So they gave us this menu, and I'm telling you, this menu has everything. And you can order as much as you want any time of the day. They just keep on bringing out food. I don't got a problem with that. <laughs> wow. The main course. It's great. Oh my god. Mm. I'm on like hour like 18 right now. It doesn't feel like it. This literally feels like my bedroom. They asked me if I wanted dessert. I said yes, and then they brought out three plates of dessert. So, oh, wow. <laughs> All right, so now I'm in the bathroom, and this bathroom is the biggest airplane bathroom I have ever been on. So right now, I'm about to change into my pajamas. I'm going to try and get some rest on this flight. So the pajamas come in this little bag right here. These are some of the comfiest pajamas I've ever been in. And they gave me slippers to wear. Ooh. Got to use the facial mist again. That's nice. We're 36,000 feet up in the air, and I am sitting in a bed bigger than the one I have at home. If I had a girlfriend, she'd be right here. This is so comfortable. Oh my god, I can get used to this. You know, with this 100-hour challenge, I'm gonna need to get some rest. This is perfect for that. Oh my gosh, I am living the dream. I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> I'm here in this lounge, and this lounge has literally everything. I have about six hours until my next flight, and there's also free foot massages. Someone's about to be touching these nasty We're boarding the third flight right now. I feel so bougie. First class, everyone. First class. This seat is crazy. Oh, orange juice. Thank you so much. Mm. If this is what it's like to be a millionaire, I'm all for it. Mm. It's definitely the details in this suite. Like, they actually put a real plant inside. <laughs> That's nice. Each suite comes with a complimentary snack basket, and also, there's a shower on board. 36,000 feet up in the air. Talk about crazy. So I scheduled mine about an hour after takeoff, and you get about 15 minutes to go and rinse off and change and do whatever you need to do in the bathroom, and I am so excited. Okay, so I'm here at the lounge, and let me tell you, this lounge has everything. Even a shoe shiner, which I feel like is just kind of extra, but hey, first class, extra's good sometimes. <laughs> I thought by the fourth and final flight, I was going to be really tired, but I'm not that tired. I think it's because I'm flying first class. <laughs> We're like on hour like 70 right now, like 75 or something. I'm going strong. All right, this is going to cut to me. This is going to cut to me on the last flight. This is definitely the best first class yet, and I'll explain why. This is a hotel room. You have a massive flat screen TV, and it's also touch screen. If the TV isn't big enough, you have your own personal tablet right here, and it is massive. The tablet and the TV are not connected, so you can watch a movie while playing games on the tablet. Literally, there's so much leg room, I could just chill down here. Honestly, this is quite nice, and they even gave me little slippers, look. This seat is so big, and also it can do so many things, like watch this. Here we go. I'm on hour 82 right now of flying, and I literally feel like I just started. And I don't know if that's because I'm flying in first class, but it might be. So out of all the suites, I would say this is the most private, and that's because this door goes all the way up to the ceiling and all the way to the ground. I literally could do anything in here and no one would know. I could fart. Like, watch this. I feel so private. Okay, so this menu is so big. It's a la carte dining, which means that you can order at any time during the flight. Oh, they have caviar. Caviar, if you didn't know, is fish eggs. And this is my fifth time eating it, and I still think it's gross. Trying to get used to it, so let's give it a try. Lots of lemon so you can hide the fish taste. Here we go. Mm. The fact that you're eating fish eggs... I definitely need some water after that. Much better. I don't know why I keep eating it. Cheers to the last first class flight. With all this fancy food, I feel like I should be dressed nice. So, uh, I have an idea. That is better. Caviar. Mm. Okay, I'm done with this. So this control panel is one of the coolest things about this suite. You can control everything, including the color of the lights and even the floor. And then you have all of these buttons right here. Why do you need all these buttons? All right, so here we have the main course. This is the sea bass? I honestly don't even know. <laughs> the worst part about this challenge, after doing the full 100 hours, I'm not gonna be able to fly first class anymore. <laughs> this is literally the best thing ever. Okay, so they made my bed, and I actually need some sleep because the last time I slept was probably like 24 hours ago. So I'm gonna get some rest. I will see you guys when I wake up. I'm just gonna sleep in the bow tie. <sighs> 
right, so today I have a very special surprise for you guys. We're gonna become zookeepers for an entire day. Are we getting paid? Yeah, like we get a job? That's a very special surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we look good. I like yeah, it. So you guys excited? Absolutely. This is Jay. Hey. He's gonna be our zookeeper guide for the day, and basically he's gonna show us all. Oh, I figured I'd start with the little stuff. That's not little, Jay. That's big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just a heads up. If you get bit, it's not our problem. Okay? <laughs> I'm gonna have my attorneys view this paper. <laughs> Sign your life away. <laughs> this is actually one of my more favorite animals. Oh my God. Dude, that's come on, come on, come on. Oh! He does it, bro. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh my God. Oh! It's funny, he actually took it. This guy almost never takes it slow. Right now, we have some alligators behind us. That's it. And we're about to feed them. They're extremely dangerous. They have all these big, giant teeth you can see hanging out of the side of their mouth. Yeah. What's like the force of their bite? 2,500 pounds per square inch. So they literally cut through bones, break everything. I mean, it's not... And, and why are we this close? Oh. <laughs> I think Nick should go first. Alright. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here. Okay, okay. I'll be back here. <laughs> I work at the gift shop. <laughs> Come on! Whoa! Oh man, my you're a handful! Come on! Oh my! Whoa. Oh my! Come on, go! Oh my! In the, in the enclosure! Ow! In the enclosure! Oh! oh. Hey, hey. Guys, right now, Pearson and I are gonna try doing yoga, but couples yoga. Oh. It's not gonna turn yeah. out good. This is the first pose that Pearson and I are gonna try. I feel like you can do that. that. Okay, let's do it. Is it hot in here, guys? Sure. Did you turn on the fire? Sure. He's taking off his shirt now. Oh. I should not have had Italian food before this. Uh, Wait, you had Italian food? Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Do you think we can do it? No. Yeah. I feel like our legs are not gonna be like flexible. I think we can. You know what? Don't. Okay, sure, fine. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna be the girl, and then Pearson's gonna be the guy. Shake your arms, friend. Shake your legs out. <laughs> no. Help! No. Help! I want to get down. No, we can do this. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the next pose. This is Brent's favorite pose right here. Can you look up yoga poses, kissing. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, Brent, shake your legs. Brent, get into yours. <laughs> We're doing it. We're gonna try this, but now we need everyone to try. Oh my god, there's no way. Yeah. We're doing it. Wow. Are we? Oh, oh, we can do it. <laughs> All right, so the next pose is going to be this one. Oh my oh, god. <laughs> oh really, is it? I think my Uber's here, so I just gotta. We could do it. <laughs> All right. So right now, we're about to trust fall into 50 mystery pools filled with nasty stuff. Oh. So the pools consist of things like slime, Legos, mouse traps, whipped cream. What? So the only way to escape is to pick a safe pool. There's only two of them. Two? What? So if there's a green check mark in the pool, that means you're good. This is all luck. Well, yeah, I know. Bro. Okay, so I think Jeremy should go first. Yeah, what? Oh Jeremy, what's your number? I want to pick 46. So Jeremy, put this blindfold on. I'm freaking out right now. Oh. Oh, are you ready, Jeremy? Ah, Three, okay. two, one, go! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Take your blindfold off. Oh. 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 You smell like rotten fish, Jeremy. Bro, that is disgusting. Alright, so better. You nervous now? I'm so nervous. Alright, pick a number. 22. Go! Oh! oh. Bro, what? No! That's fine. No, bro, it's literally the first one. Oh my god. It's Brent's turn. Oh no. Yeah. I'm gonna pick number five. All right, let's get this over with. Oh, of course Brent would get this one. What is it? Is it bad? I would rethink your choices right now. Go! Oh! oh. Wow. wow. That's about what you She's deserve. so happy. That's about what you deserve. Oh my god, this is so fun. All right, so Jeremy, you're next. What number? I'll go for number 26. All right, so Jeremy, are you scared? Yeah, I'm scared. Ooh. That's a good one. Not bad, right, Ben? I think it's better than Brent's. Go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What is it? Surprise. Oh. <laughs> Bro, give me a towel. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you literally look like you're wearing a shirt, Jeremy. I basically am. <laughs> All right, so Ben, you are up. I'm going for number eight. Oh my god. That does not smell good. That is not. Go! Oh. <laughs> what is this? My dirty sock. Oh! 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 No! No! Get off me! Okay, my next number is gonna be 34. Oh! oh. That's ball. Oh! Oh my god! Get some on him! Get some on him! Ew! Oh my god! Oh. Let me see how it feels. 
see how it tastes first. That's disgusting. Hey, it's really good. All right, so Jeremy, it's your turn. I'm gonna go for number 40. One, go. Oh, 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 oh. That was terrible. That was freezing. Ben, you're up next. Number 35. Oh. oh. Go. Oh. oh my god. That's probably the best one I could have fallen into. Yeah, it feels nice, right? Oh my god. Since it's my turn, I think I'm gonna go with lucky number 36. Oh. Wait, what is it? Why does it smell like that? Hey, this is your favorite kind of food. Two, Two one. one. Go! Surprise! Oh! <laughs> what the? No. Oh. 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 Why are there so many weeds? <laughs> Jeremy, do you have your number? I do. What is it? Ten. Oh crap! Surprise! Oh. What? What? Oh! oh. oh. What is that? My oh. turn. Oh. oh! Ben, what's your next number? I'm going with fifteen. Oh! oh. oh. so bad. The pool doesn't smell bad. I smell bad. Oh, okay. That's right. <laughs> Go! Oh, that was all this flour. That was not necessary. Get him all. You might as well. <laughs> all right, so guys, I think I'm going to go with number 32. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, yeah, that's the worst one you can get. Can I change my mind? Change your mind right yeah. now. No. I really think you should. Go. No. Oh, oh, come on. I escaped. So you two are the only ones that are playing now. Take me with you. The good news is, is there's one more escape pool. All right, so Jeremy, it's your turn. I'll pick number 29. Go. Oh! Wow. Ouch! Bro, that hurts so bad. <laughs> All my body weight was on that. That hurts so bad. <laughs> All right, so Ben, you're up next. Number 20. Oh. oh. Hey, be careful with this one, bro. No. Oh. Oh. After getting destroyed a hundred times, I'm so glad I got this. I'm gonna go for number three. Yes! <laughs> yes! All right, now give me a towel and give me some water. Since you're the only one left, you officially lose. No. And you all owe us $1,000. Wait, what? Yeah. You didn't tell me that. Pay up, buddy. You didn't tell me that. Pay up. Do you remember in high school when we used to make vines during lunch? Of course. We went to my Spanish teacher's classroom and we just made vines. That was eight years ago. I know. Did you know that? I know. It was a long time. You know, we both like liked making videos, so yeah. that, was like, that was like what we had in common. And that was like the start of all of this. I me and Mason have been partners in crime for literally all this time and recently obviously we had like a little bit of like a break a few months ago We kind of rekindled we got on the same page and we started filming again. You know, Mason, you bring so much light, so much good energy. I really appreciate everything that you've done. You've helped me so much in my life. You know, right now, you don't have like the best like living situation, right? Yeah, kind of like homeless right now, but like not really. My mom doesn't want me to live with her because me and my mom don't get along. Me and my dad both agree that it's better that we don't live together either. Um, I have a little present for you. I want to give you a $25,000 check. That's a lot of money, Brad. <laughs> Why? Because you've helped me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> Dude. Dude, that's a lot of money. You deserve it. What the heck, dude? <laughs> I'm not even trying to cry right now. That helps me a lot. Man, if you were a girl, I would kiss you right now. Oh! <laughs> I hope that helps, Mason. I love you. Of course it does, dude. Thanks for helping out. Right. This is where me and Ava first slept. No. <laughs> We are about to prank Ben. He thinks that we are gonna be doing a bike race between him and Mason. What he doesn't know is that his bike is gonna literally fall apart mid-race. All right, so basically, Ben, you are gonna be racing against Mason. First person back gets a $500 cash prize. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no, why is it not going? Break it out. This is the worst day ever. <laughs> <laughs> alright, so I am back with baby Jeremy. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Yo, yo, yo. Hi. What in the baby Jeremy's going on? Alright, you take a Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Give him whipped cream. Whipped cream. Here it comes. Oh. Oh. oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. 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 I just want to squeeze him. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Feed him his food. Ah, uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. there we go. Here's some dessert. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> what was that? Jeremy just spit on me. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just give me? Oh my god. <laughs> that is not dessert. Never having kids. <laughs> okay, so I am here with my mom and she is gonna be pretending to be me for the day. This is gonna be so much fun. So basically she's just gonna be really annoying all day. Seriously. <laughs> You're so mean, Lexi. <laughs> what in the world? How do you like my new look? <laughs> See how bad your style is, Brent? Hey Lexi, I guess we didn't get that mouse in the mouse trap. <laughs> My pranks aren't that bad. No, they really are. Ugh, there's never any food in this house. Why doesn't anybody ever go shopping? Lexi! Stop. Lexi! 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 Brent, you're so Lexi! Annoying. What are you doing? Why is this Wi-Fi so slow? I don't even think it's working. Lexi, do you have Wi-Fi? Okay, where are we dropping, boys? Uh, where? <laughs> Not now, Mom. I'm playing a video game. No, 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 don't pause. Oh, shh! Shoot, Mom, you made me lose! <laughs> Alright, let's give it up for my mom! Oh. oh, wow, you did a good job, Mom. Thank you, now you know how annoying you are. True! <laughs> so, Pearson, I heard uh, you're taking me to Hawaii tomorrow? Yeah. Guys, Pearson <laughs> thought it was a good idea to bring Ava. It is a good idea. You don't like us together? <laughs> Because we're plotting against you. Yes. Every time Ava and I hang out, we talk about you, and sometimes it's not. See that? Happen. I don't like. All right, so we are finally in Hawaii, and you guys are sharing a room together, right? Yeah. I mm -hmm. guess I'm third wheeling. What? You look so cute when you drink coffee. Oh, thanks, you too. Look, I'm editing our cute photos. Like, French is jealous because he he once had you, he once had me, and now he has no. He has dude, Jeremy now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are on our way to the beach right now. Currently, third willing Ava and Pearson. <laughs> oh, what are you guys telling secrets now? Hello. Um, Ben, what's going on with the girls? I think they left you. Brent, Brent, leave what is going us alone. Wow. All right, so because Ava and Pearson are having their girl time over there, I decided to make my own friends. You guys, come in here. All right, do you like Avison or do you like Pearson better? Them. What? Are you kidding me? All right, you know what? You guys have fun with your girl talk. I am going to go hang out with the boys. You have fun in being annoying. Oh. <laughs> Pearson, believe it or not, this is actually where Ava and I went on our honeymoon. It's yeah, crazy. this is so great. So I mean, crazy. Should we uh, show you around? And... Sure. All right, so Pearson, this is where me and Ava chilled by the pool. Yeah. Great. And this is where me and Ava kissed for the first time on the beach. Wow. <laughs> Pearson. What? This is where me and Ava took our Instagram picture. Remember this, Ava? Yeah, we made out here, too. La, 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 oh. la. Are you done? Oh, my gosh. This is where me and Ava had our picnic. That's, oh! That's <laughs> and, Pearson, actually, in this bed, this is where me and Ava first slept. No. 